And you remember what I did just say? If you know not now I'm Tom from Rolling SD. We're here with Gentlemen at the House of Blues. And uh, so tell me a little bit about the tour right now. You guys are on tour with Soja. Yeah, man, I mean, it's it's beautiful, you know. I mean, Soja are really, the musically, they're really, really tough. You know, they party a lot, you know. <laughs> it's hard to keep up with them, you know. And we took them on a tour in Europe, you know, some years ago. So now they take us on the US tour. For sure. You know, and it's beautiful, man, because, you know, they, they, they are on the, on the ceiling right now, you know. They, they just, you know, hit the billboard charts and every venue is sold out, you know. So for us, it's a blessing and it's a wonderful opportunity. You know, to get our music to the people. Tell me a little bit about the, uh, the reggae vibe in Europe. Well, it's, you know, you cannot say this is the vibe in Europe because Europe is so different, you know. Germany is not Spain and France is not sure. England, you know what I mean? But um, the music is established, you have a lot of sound systems, a lot of producers, singers, songwriters, you know. And you have huge festivals, you know, that's the thing, especially in Germany, you have the Summer Jam Festival, which is the greatest, um, the biggest festival in Europe. They keep it since 27 years now, you know, and it's like 25,000 people regular and it's, you know, there's a big, big festival culture. You have more and more artists coming up from Europe, you know, Ivor Rose from Italy, me from Germany, million styles from Sweden, you know. So it's like there's a scene, but reggae music still happening in the underground, you know, when you turn on the radio um, in Germany, um, you, you still hear more like the Lady Gaga or something, and you know, you know, Luciano, so. Sometimes the public and the published opinion is two different things, you know what I mean? Um, but I feel like it's growing very slow and steady. That's why I can't flip fast. Tell me a little bit about the documentary you guys have been filming for the past six years, The Journey to oh. Job. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just um, a little part of the whole movie, you know. Mm -hmm. There's different, different people in there, you know. There's Abba Rose in there and Terry Lynn and Luciana. And, you know, um, they did it since, I don't know, it, it feels like 20 years now. You know, they say it's supposed to be released in 2013, but good things take time. It is about, you know, the, the deep insights, you know, it's not really music in the first place. It's more like why people, you know, what people feel, you know, um, why they make music, why they're creative, you know. It's a very critical movie too, you know, it's, it's, it's not at the surface, it kind of dig deeper, you know, and it's a challenge for all of us, you know, so, but it's not finished yet. A lot of the movie um, has been filmed in Jamaica. We're going there in May again to some more shootings. Um, they did some beautiful interviews with, with Caroline Cooper and you know different different people. So it's deep, man. Mm -hmm. It's a journey to jail, You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, man. Respect. Yeah. Where's the future of reggae music headed? Where, where do you think it's going? Well, you know, um, music can never be in the future. You know, because music is the most momentary thing. That's why you know it's so powerful. There's no such thing like music. It's, it's so in the moment. There's no future, no past. A few champions have nothing to do with, with life, you know. Life happens just in the moment. And the only thing what is, is eternal is the moment. Reggae music reflects all aspects of life, you know. This is what, you know, to me reggae music is about. And especially roots reggae music, which is a whole different thing than the dance art thing. It, it is very sweet but radical. It's very traditional but up to the time. You know, um, it, it always is music, it always has been music like it, you know, Bob Marley on your arm, you know. It has always been music against the establishment. You know, I'm combining these sweet melodies and sweet bass lines because you can have the deepest lyrics if you don't have the right melody to it, nobody will listen. To me, roots reggae music is everlasting, you know, because it is so momentary. And the message of Bob Marley is so up to the time, you know, so this is what, what the music is all about. Where do you pull inspiration when you're making music, when you're creating? Well, inspiration can be everything, you know. It can be, especially traveling, you know, is inspiration. Um, a book can be an inspiration. A conversation with people can be an inspiration, you know. Um, different artists can be an inspiration. You know, you just have to be open to the spirit. And, and then the inspiration is there, you just need to grab it. What I realize as an artist, as a songwriter, um, the, the, the deep levels of creativity and of inspiration, it's not a permanent state. It's a certain moment, you know, to me. You know, maybe you have it permanent, but me not. You know, in this moment now, I think the art is to acknowledge a moment like this. And to acknowledge, wow, now I've got this moment of clarity. Now I've got this moment where, you know, I, I feel this sort of pain, you know, because the sweetest music comes out of pain, you know. And this is the moment where I need to manifest that kind of thought and that kind of feeling, you know. And then you can share it with the people, but it's, you know, um, it's moments of clarity. Yeah, man. Is there anything you'd like to say to the people of San Diego while you're here? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, so give thanks to the people in San Diego, you know. Um, it's a blessing to be here, you know. It's a blessing to be at this wonderful venue, you know. It's a blessing to be on tour with Soldier. 
and you know just yeah man stay positive even though you know staying positive might be a challenge you know nowadays because there's so much negativity out there you know but we're not resigned you know what I say where there's life there's hope remember that yeah man gentleman says respect no thanks thank you Yes, rolling as D, you don't know, so this is a gentleman. I'm not just gonna say no respect to you all, you know, and I go like this, can no more time to waste, and you know just what to do. Leaving out the old time, picking up the new, when there is nothing to replace, cause it's all inside of you. Rolling as D, you don't know, so do the hard work. Born Babylon 24 7 40, <laughs> me out in. Respects. <laughs>